just arrived at East Kirkby. It's the 14th of July 2020 and I've just come down to the area where they are reconstructing the two wing tips. Kev is doing the port wing and he's got the formation light in position. Both the wing tips had new skins right. top and okay, bottom. Every time I look at the starboard wing tip, it always looks like a complete brand new construction. Uh, uh, well, it nearly is because only 10% of the original material was saved. The rest was either corrosion or damage. Push me out then. Hi Keith, I've got a question for you on uh, riveting. Um, if I was going to rivet a couple of plates together, I would drill the hole, put the rivet through and put the head on a steel bench or on the vise or something hard. I would get my hammer and I would hit the tail of the rivet to either form a cheese head or, or a dome. Uh, why is it that you put the rivet gun on the head of the rivet and the reaction block on the tail and fire the gun that way. Because the the snap that's in the rivet gun is shaped to the head of the rivet. Yeah, it is shaped, is it? Yeah, so it actually sits around the rivet. And as it drives, it doesn't drive the head. The major part of the contact is in the center Ten. of the rivet. Yeah. So it drives through the stem. And on the other side, you have the reaction block. Yeah. And that knocks it, so all you're doing is you're squeezing that stem, not squeezing the head. Because if you squeeze the head, it will push it into the material. Yeah. So all you're doing is flaring that shank of the rivet and forming a, a tail like another head on the other side. Yeah. In the olden days, they used to have two, like, cocked pieces, and they used to form a double head in, a, in very old aircraft. Sometimes you see double head instead of like the modern one where you've just got the formed head where you buy the rivet yeah. and then use a flat block and you get like a, a cheese head on the other side where you form it. Yeah. They used to form it in the cup size so you had a double cup. That's them. right, yeah that's... Um, but they don't tend to do yeah. that now. Red hot riveting in them boilers and that. Yeah. They'll have guns both sides. Both sides, oh yeah. Yeah, and they gun them together. Yeah. So it actually seals, because yeah. you want a watertight seal, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You get, a, you know, you get a very good seal with that. Yeah. But, um, of course, you were allowed also on the uh, contraction of the hot metal to pull it tight as well. Yeah. yeah. If I can sit, hang on, yeah. Yes, in there. He's got it now. But I see you probably do it easy. Look at that. It's actually cupped inside it. Yeah. So the actual gun doesn't actually touch the metal of the frame or the or the skin. No, all you all, you don't touch anything like that. All you're interested in is touching the rivet. Yeah. I see. Yeah. And you're just forming the rivet in the hole. Yeah. And also, when it, it um, on the reaction block, as it works, it gets harder. Does it work hardens or not? What, the, ma the material? The rivet itself. The yeah. rivet, yeah. 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 You can and get... Um, and, and what would that cover? Would that cover th three thirty seconds? Three seconds? Well, you have them for each different size rivet as yeah. a different size snap. Yeah. Because it'll have a different size cupped head. I see, yeah. And also, what about the tension in the gun? How do you work that out? That's preset. Oh, it's preset, is it's it? It's a hammer. Yeah. What, it, what, inside the gun, yeah. you've got the air run through, and you've got a piston inside. Yeah. And as the air hits the back of the piston, it drives it up. See, that's... Yeah. That's like an anvil, and I don't know if you can hear it. 
I see, yeah. How yeah. much movement is there in the... the well, the piston inside? Yes, yeah. Oh, it moves quite away. Oh, so the, the gun re recoils quite away before it punches the... Yeah, rubber. but it's all internal. The, yeah. the gun doesn't move at all. No. Everything is internal. Yeah. And what it does, that like little piston bit goes down and it'll hit the end of that and where that's measured there's some ports inside yeah. that let the air escape and pull it back so the hammer bit of it drops oh, yeah. back again yeah. and once it drops back the pressure builds up and it goes bang oh, and it goes again. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's where you hear that blah 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 yeah. it's, it's that doing that inside it all yeah. oh, right good that's another question yeah and that's you can see it. where it's been hitting it the yeah, end of it can, can't, yeah yeah yeah. That's all it does, it hits the end of that and then drives that onto the rivet. Yeah, all oh, right, thanks, thanks, uh, Kay. And how are you progressing on yours? Getting there, just yeah. uh, prepping some of those skins. They're going to be painted the weekend, some oh, of them. So you might get some riveting done then? Oh, you? not yet. No. <laughs> not yet, a long way from that yet. Have you got the frame? You haven't even got the skeleton frame? No, no none of that's riveted together. No. And I'll say, I'm, I'm like five or six weeks behind Kev. Yeah. So you're just um, just putting the, these skin pins into all the Coleco pins? Yeah, that, that, that's it, as it's been assembled. Yeah. If, it, if you want to come round and look. Oh, you can see it's all been held together with the Coleco pins as yeah. you build it and then you as you build on you drill all your holes off and everything and we've got to the near enough the final stage now where everything's drilled off and so in, in line you know is it yeah it's all set up yeah we've just got the very top bits to finish off um, but now this is being stripped down piece by piece all the like ends will all be finished off properly ready for painting whether they're all square or yeah. rough at the moment it'll all be finished off so yeah when you actually start assembling will you put the um, <coughs> the main spars in first or not all the structure goes together first the yeah. internal structure yeah i mean which where will you start riveting at the bracket down there what all was the main spar into the oh it was at the start of the start of the bottom and yeah. work our way up yeah so um there's um how many vertical ones are there um, there's uh, two main spars. Yeah. And, and the intercostals. Three, they call these intercostals, the lighter weight ones. They call yeah. them intercostals. Yeah. There's three of those. Yeah. There's and that the main, one there yeah. and two between the two main spars. The intercostals yeah. and ribs are cut halfway on opposite sides to allow them oh, to interlock. Yeah. But the spars yeah, like solid, yeah. don't have any cuts yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, the intercostals are cut out, the main spars are in one piece. Yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to say, yeah. Thank yeah. you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. They're, they're, they're not cut at all. Yeah. They're drilled and attached to. Yeah. I see you've still got to drill, put the skins on and drill along yeah, there. Yeah, well, we can't do that one because of these arms. Oh, of course, yeah. You see, the, the, the front arms are removable, but the guy who made the jig has welded these on rigid oh so how are we going to get around that so we're waiting till we build and it's built built and riveted together other than this bit and what we're going to do is make some um, clamps up drill and bolt these yeah and then once they're done we're going to cut the arms so yeah. once we've taken it off fitted the skin and everything we can take the skin off, put it back and bolt it back together and it'll be in exactly the same position. Yeah, it will, yeah, good. There's always a way around. Yeah. yeah it's certainly a complete... Building a like this, it's a complicated structure, isn't it? Oh, yeah. this is winter, yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think people realised how complicated... Yeah. They thought it was just a wingtip, it was a wingtip. Yeah. When Somebody, you've got it apart, it's yeah. so complicated. Somebody said, built. why did they go to make the wind tech so complicated because of the stress yeah in it you, you think that how far that is out from the end yeah and all that all that lift yeah that wing produces yeah all ends here yeah yeah it yeah, doesn't any get movement, less 
to the right or left, yeah, the wind drop and that. It's yeah, that's right. Well, so in, you see in the modern hole. aircraft, I think it's a, the, the, you know, the big A380, yeah. the, the wing tip, yeah. when it's in the air to where it's on the ground, there's six feet difference. Is it really? It moves yeah. up in the air six feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you think that all that stress has got to be worked into the thing, because otherwise yeah. if you had something really rigid, it just goes snap. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why it's, it's a, gradually as you get further and further out, the the material is layered off to yeah. let the stress run out yeah. through it. Yeah, you so can't, you, you yeah. get the flexibility, yeah. but you've only got a certain amount of rigidity in it. Yeah. It's still got the strength, but yeah, you've it got allows the flex it, in it to move yeah. about. Oh, yeah, right. that was interesting. Because you think if you, you know, if you, if you're getting some rough air and things start yeah. doing that, yeah. you know, if you, if you, like I said before, if, if you've got it rigid, they're just going to go snap. Yeah. 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 Good. So I've got plenty more to come and see in each week of oh, this yeah. progressing. Be yeah. a few more, few more weeks, yeah. Right, thanks very much. You're welcome.